Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to hop on here and talk about the kayak that I purchased at the beginning of summer. I knew that in the summer, I don't really hike as much because I'm super allergic to poison ivy and it's just super hot, hot in Arkansas. So I wanted to get a kayak so I could spend my summer on the water. And I'm super happy with my purchase. I did months of research. I actually initially went to um, Academy and I was gonna just buy a Pelican kayak. And I started doing more research and realized, eh, maybe that's not quite worth my money. I could spend two to three hundred dollars for a kayak. We're doing a bunch of construction behind my house. I'm so sorry. I could spend two to three hundred dollars on a Pelican kayak that would last me maybe a couple years, or I could spend a little bit more money to get a kayak that would last me forever. So let me just go ahead and show you what I purchased. All right, so this is the Crescent Ultralight in the sea foam color. And I love this kayak. I got it one because it's super lightweight. It weighs about 45 pounds and I can easily get this thing on and off the top of my car by myself. So I'm really, really happy with that. Um, the second reason I purchased this one is because I plan on going kayak camping at some point in life and it has a really big storage. So the storage goes throughout the kayak so it's a really big space this opening isn't super big but i think i can make it work with the gear that i have one thing to make sure with this compartment if you do go to crescent ultralight is that you have to make sure that this top compartment clicks so that it is dry storage otherwise water can seep in so you kind of have to i don't know if you heard that click but you gotta Push it pretty hard, make sure that it clicks. Otherwise, some water does seep in. As long as you click it, it's a good dry storage area. And this kayak is 10 feet in length. Let's look at it, it's beautiful. I've taken this thing out three or four times now and I'm, I just love it. it. It glides on the water perfectly, it tracks really well. I've taken it out on the lake with other boats and when there's a big wave it doesn't really it stays pretty steady I love this too because I can stand on this so it kind of is like a paddle board and it's pretty sturdy um, I can stand on it pretty easily and this is the chair it's detachable obviously and it is super comfortable it's like a camp chair on my kayak and it's adjustable you can sit back lean forward and it just um, straps in like this to the kayak. And I love this too, because whenever I go kayak camping, I can take this off and it can be my camp chair. Is a water bottle holder, which works pretty well. And I have plugs for the holes back here too. This is a nice storage area. I haven't bought a cooler yet, but that would be where my cooler went. And for my paddle, I just went with this cheap Atwood brand paddle i got this off amazon it was like 30 bucks and it just uh, attaches to the other side i think it's eight foot maybe yeah that's my setup right now i really really loved this kayak um i got it at h24 outdoors in conway they're really really great check them out if you're looking for a crescent kayak they're super helpful and yeah i'm excited for a lot more adventures in this thing and to go camping and I'll take you guys along on some of my adventures. What's up guys? So I'm finally making a video. It has been a long summer, but I'm taking my kayak to the lake and I officially got it on my car by myself. I wish I would have recorded it, but yeah, I did that and I'm pretty excited about it. So now I'm gonna strap it down and head to my friend's lake house on Groose Ferry. And hopefully it doesn't rain but we'll see ya. Say bye. Yes, mommy will miss you. <laughs> well, definitely looks like it's gonna rain. Got her all strapped in, got my ratchet straps. I don't know if you can see up there, but yeah. I did that all by myself. And I'm pretty excited about it because that's why I bought this kayak because it was light and I knew I wanted something that was light that I could put on my car by myself 
and I did it. This is the first time, so woo, super win for me today. But all right, I'm about to head to Goose Ferry, and hopefully, I can beat the storm. It is a perfect day on the lake. <clears throat> we are getting ready to go out on the boat for a little while. And it's not that hot. It feels perfect. There's a breeze. Check out this view. I just love it here. I got to the lake house last night around six or so, had dinner, and then went to sleep because I'm just super tired. Today, it's a beautiful day. I thought they said it was gonna rain, but it doesn't look like it's gonna rain. And we're gonna go out on the boat for a little while and then hopefully take my kayak out around sundown so that is exciting you ready for the lake Mimi yes maybe hey, uh, y'all ready for the lake yeah. <laughs> We are out here at our spot. Probably the best day of summer so far. There's a breeze, it's cool. The water is a perfect temperature. It feels like bath water. I'm in heaven. not run into the rock. All right, got the kayak out, getting away from all the boats. Y'all, it is a perfect day to be kayaking. It's a lot of people out. Ah, it's a good day. I'm about to go back here where there's normally a creek, but since it's summer, it's probably dried out, but we're gonna see what's back there. And this cove back here is super quiet. There's no boats. It's just silent. So in the springtime, the water is a lot higher and you can go all the way back there. And there's a creek that runs through the woods. And I've followed it up pretty far before. But this is just such a nice little area. 
<sighs> Y'all been so busy with school and I haven't, I've taken my kayak out. This is my brand new kayak. I've taken it all out. This is my third time. So basically I haven't had any free time all summer, but feels good to finally be out here. Well, it's been a long day on the lake. We stayed out till almost seven and yeah, I'm tired. There is a full moon outside. I don't think my GoPro is going to be able to get it, but it is so pretty. Oh yeah, you can kind of like that white dot. That's the moon. It's almost a full moon. And it's like 70 degrees out here. It's kind of cold. Like, I'm chilly. We were going to go swim down at the point. But, honestly, it's too cold for me. I have chill bumps. So, no, we're like tired. We can't figure out if we want to rally or go down to the point. So, to be determined. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Sunday, and I gotta go home a little bit later today. But we're gonna take the kayak out again and float around the lake. We may try to go somewhere new. Not really sure. The lake's pretty quiet, but there's more boats that are starting to come out as it gets later in the afternoon. But we shall see. All right, this video is long enough, so I'm gonna cut it and put my kayak footage in the next video. That means you need to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you are notified when, when I post my new videos. And yeah, stay tuned. This float is amazing and um, so much fun. One of my favorite floats and hikes in Arkansas. So yeah, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video.